In the ongoing West Asia war, an Israeli bombing has killed at least about 20 people, including children, in a building that housed the displaced families of the Palestinians in the Gaza city, in northern Gaza. Now, according to Gaza's health ministry, the death toll from the relentless campaign of Israeli bombings has now crossed the 44,000 mark, with more than 100,000 Palestinians having sustained some very grievous injuries. This building has been hit three times and every time people were massacred. Most of it was gone. Nobody was left. All of them are martyred today. A whole family has been wiped away. I swear to God the whole family is wiped from the civil registry. Because of you, Israel. You killed civilians. Meanwhile, in Lebanon, Beirut residents are fearful of escalation as the Israeli strikes continue to hit various locations. About the negotiations, the Israelis are playing with us. The Israelis used to do this at the beginning in Gaza. Every day they come and say they want negotiations. They go to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Then they come back and reject the negotiations we have been working on. The Lebanon's Baalbek region was pounded by the Israeli airstrikes on Thursday. Local authorities have said that at least about 47 people have been killed, while 22 others were injured in the Israeli bombings. The strikes also shook the Hezbollah-controlled areas in southern Beirut, and there were multiple southern villages that were also bombed by the Israelis. Lebanon's health ministry has confirmed that the death toll in this campaign of bombings by the Israelis has now crossed the 3,500 mark. Hezbollah has responded with some rocket and drone attacks on Israel, including some strikes on military facilities and an airbase in Ashdod. Meanwhile, the U.S. Senate has blocked three resolutions to halt arms sales to the state of Israel, including the sale of tank rounds and guarded bomb kits. And not just this, the White House has also rejected the ICC's decision to issue arrest warrants for Israeli leaders, including Benjamin Netanyahu, the press secretary Karen John Pierre, has confirmed that the United States is consulting with partners, including the State of Israel, on the next steps that it has to take. Let me just say, because it's the first time I've had an opportunity to speak to this at the podium, so let me just say more broadly that we fundamentally reject uh, the court's decision to issue arrest warrants for senior uh, Israel officials. Uh, we remain deeply concerned by the prosecutor's rush to seek arrest warrants and the troubling process errors that led to this decision. The United States has been clear that the ICC does not have jurisdiction over this matter.